I'm out in the barn right now, and I came out here because my house is full of kids, and I don't want to be messing around, fiddling around with my gun while it's full of kids. But I wanted to talk about revolver jams. And this is something you don't hear anything about usually. What you usually hear is the revolver is extraordinarily reliable, and it never jams, and if you have a bad round, just pull the trigger again. You're good to go. But they don't mention the fact that they can jam, they can hang up. And I'm going to show right now how they do that. I'm going to unload the gun here. And what people don't think about is that the gap between the butt of the ammunition when it's loaded and the frame of the gun is actually a tighter gap than the forcing cone to cylinder face gap. So what could happen? This is what could happen. Okay, I took an old 357 Magnum case, I deprimed it, and I put a new primer in it. But I did not put the primer in very deep. You see how it's sticking out just a little bit? I did that on purpose because that can happen, even with factory ammunition. It's rare, but it can happen. So what could happen is you could go to take, load your gun up, and if that round with that bad primer is oriented in the side like this, your gun will still close. And if you just put your gun away for self-defense like that and say, hey, it's a revolver, it's reliable, what's going to happen? Pull the trigger. Next time, look, I cannot pull that trigger. That primer is stopping it. Completely jamming the gun up. So, what you want to do is when you get some self-defense rounds that you're going to be carrying in this gun or you're going to have it in your house for self-defense you want to inspect them you want to inspect every primer you want to feel them make sure they're right another thing to do would be to close the cylinder but not all the way just so it'll still turn with your hand so that each butt of each round is going in between the cylinder and the frame and you can see that way that, it'll, that it's not anything backed out gonna jam it up and I'll take it even one step further and I'll, I'll cock the gun put my thumb in there release the hammer I'll do this six times because it's a five shot revolver just to see that it's going to cycle and it's not gonna be a problem so that's something to think about that they can jam it may not be a technical jam but it is a serious hang-up that could potentially get you killed. So, inspect those rounds. Realize these things are not perfect. So, that's just a tip of advice from me, and uh, thanks for watching.